welcome to Ayla Pharmacology. Today we'll see about rational pharmacotherapy. So coming to the specific learning objectives, we should be able to define what is rational pharmacotherapy. What do you mean by P drug and the step criteria? So according to the WHO World Health Organization. Rational use of medicines is defined as the patient receives medication appropriate to their clinical needs in the doses that meet their own individual requirements for an adequate period of time and at the lowest cost to them and to their community. So four things you have to keep in mind. The appropriate medication according to their clinical condition and the doses which can be tolerated by an individual for an adequate period of time and it should be available at the lowest possible price. So you can remember that as D2TP that is D stands for drug, appropriate drug has to be selected and appropriate dose has to be selected for appropriate duration of time and the appropriate price. So what are the criteria which can be taken as a standard to evaluate the rational prescribing purpose. So there are six evaluating criteria that is appropriate indication. You have to note down the appropriate indication before selecting a drug. Once appropriate indication has been made out, you can go for appropriate drug selection. Once the drug is selected, the appropriate dose, what are the route of administration, how long it should be administered, it should be taken into account. And next is the most important is the whether this patient will be able to withstand drug the dose that is the you have to know the compliance with respect to the patient and next is the appropriate instruction to the patient as well as correct dispensing procedure has to be told and next is the follow-up has to be done that is adequate monitoring so that there are six criteria the appropriate indication appropriate drug appropriate dose, route and duration, appropriate patient, appropriate instructions and the adequate monitoring. So coming to the P drug, the P drug here stands for the personal drug. So what are the steps which are followed for selecting P drug? So it can be easily remembered by step criteria that is S stands for safety, T stands for tolerab tolerability, E stand for efficacy and P stand for price. All these four things you should evaluate before selecting the personal drug to the particular patient. You have to see for the safety. You have to see whether the drug can be tolerated with the patient. You should also see whether the drug is efficacious and also the cost wise. Thank you. For any more updates, you can like and subscribe to I Love Pharmacology.